Hello, this is that BMX guy, and this is my bike check on the Ford Taurus 1.0 after it's been modified. I bought this thing in 2016. I kind of immediately changed parts on it. So, we'll just start with the handlebars. So I cut this extension tube about an inch, maybe two inches. And it originally just had a one-piece little tiny bar, and I change it to a folding clamp extension piece that holds a normal handlebar that you can buy anywhere. This is an Origin 8 Pro Fit bar. I think it's called Pro Fit. Could be anything. But whatever, it's just an Origin 8 mountain bike handlebar pretty much. It's a little bit wider. Gives it more control. I just wish it had a little bit more sweep. Or maybe I can get even even wider than this. Um, the brakes I changed immediately to these Avids. I got Avid ST7 levers. These are technically the super light SD7s, which had titanium hardware, but I changed the pivots to actual stainless steel and the bolts to stainless steel too. So it's not a super light, it's just technically a SD7 to silver. So that's both brakes. I put these blue cables on a few years ago. Originally, it just had black. Um, the front wheel is a D, you know, a Shimano hub. Dairy, Dari, Dari. And that, that's a pretty nice hub. It's 32 hole. The original wheels were just 28 hole cheap steel hubs with cheap aluminum rims. And they rode like crap. So I changed the CR18s pretty much immediately. And this one's actually 32 instead of 36. Um, the tires are just, right now they're Schwabi Marathon Plus tires. But I did have the Duranas on here for a while. But for the winter, I kind of like using these tires. Uh, the rear hub is a Shimano DX hub. It's a BMX hub. I actually originally had this in the front too, but they're only 36. So. I wanted to have a 32, so I put the Dirari hub on the front. I still got the Marathon on the rear. Another one of those brakes. I did recently changed these cartridge pads. And the other change immediately was to the profile cranks. These are just 175 arms, outboard bottom bracket bearings, and the spine drive spindle or spider. Uh, this is a surly stainless steel ring. There's a surly cog on this hub that I recycled from the other bikes. Like, so, yeah, all that stuff normally changes. These are recent. I usually just have the Odyssey twisted pedals, but I found these in this blue that matches the brake cables. They sort of match the Ford logo. And yeah, I covered over the Taurus because I don't really care about the Taurus car too much. I don't. I'm not a fan of the Ford. Taurus anyway, let alone Ford. Yeah, they're an American company, but I don't know. I, I, I just have it as a Ford bike. Um, I had to change this quick release because the last quick release broke. This is just a normal Dayhan quick release because we had to hear everyone taking their trash out. Anyway, um, I recently bought this turn extension. Well, it was like three years ago. But it makes it so I can use a nice Thompson seat post instead of the cheap, junky seat post that it had on here, where you had normal seat cuts. At least these seat cuts never move. This is my old Physique Alliant VS from 2010. It's still working. It didn't tear open yet. It still works as a pretty nice seat. Uh, the other modifications I might have did, I might have cut this down a little bit. But this is still the basic seat clamp that it came with. It just used to be welded, now it's not welded. Um, uh, the other modification to the frame was adding these magnetic, called magnetics. And what it makes it do is when it's folded up, it, it stays together. That was a big improvement because it's very hard to carry it when it just keeps opening up itself. 
far as the weight of this bike goes, it's not much lighter than it was stock, but when it was stock, it was like 29 pounds. With the Duranos, it's about 26. But with these tires on it, they're kind of adding a couple more pounds back. So as far as changing everything on it, I think the only things I didn't change is the forks. Technically, the frame didn't change that much at all. Um, so I cut this down so it's closer to the, the height of a BMX. Like I kind of like it feeling more like a BMX, not like a floppy folding bike. So that was the main change that I wanted to do right away. The cranks that came with were really junky, solid steel with a solid steel chain ring and some unsealed bottom bracket, which was like a really cheap bottom bracket. The wheels were cheap steel hubs, like I said earlier. And the seat pistol, I still have the seat pistol in case there's any issues, but it just used normal seat cuts that don't really hold the seat too well. Otherwise, I guess you can use the original seat pistol as a bat. Um, I added this water bottle key recently so I can take it for long trips and have a water bottle. In the winter time, I don't have really any pockets for the water bottles on the jacket. So I can show you it folded. Which folding isn't too long. Or timely. With one hand. Put this just slide down. I kind of slide it down right to where this eagle is. One hand that's lined down there. Awesome. Gotta get it off its little holster. Doesn't really matter where the seat is. Handle horse is full down pretty easy. The reason why I kept this steel extension seat is that it seems like it's more reliable than those aluminum ones you can buy as a replacement. And you can still adjust it tighter and it just seems like I just trust steel put it that way aluminum all right here just sounds like it's just gonna snap right off as soon as I put too much force on it like standing for example so the fold up again is still got this thing it's a safety latch this is even like trying to do it best but with those magnets it just makes that nice sound I just stand up so fold up, it ain't too small, but it ain't too big either. It's not too complicated. It's not all these extra buttons. It's not to snap in place. And it's a fairly simple folding leg. One thing I did want to do is maybe add a handle or something, but it gets kind of tiring holding this thing. Because it's, like I said, 29 pounds, and it gets heavy after a while just holding it, walking through a hallway. I think it's pretty small, or small enough. Anyway, that's my bike check on the Ford Taurus 1.0, fully modified to pretty much be just like a BMX bike when you ride it. Anyway, I guess this is that BMX guy, and thanks for watching.